What's up YouTube family? All right, so I know I've been posting a while as you haven't seen me, but that's changing. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos coming up here now. So this one, first one, just to get me started, is gonna be a quick video, uh, it's gonna be on high level. So especially if you're using high level to run your agency, then you wanna pay attention to this because you may be experiencing low deliverability in your high level account when you're emailing from there. So this is a quick fix that will help you boost your deliverability. So what we're talking about here today is if you go into your agency setting view, and then you go to settings, and you go down to the agency settings here, what we're going to be talking about here is the API domain. So you probably know about the whole white labeling your domain, white labeling your software so that your, so your clients just see the white labeled version, like your domain version of your high level. Well, that's great, it's what everybody does, but there's also this other one here called the API domain, and if you haven't actually updated this, then you're gonna have a little bit lower deliverability. And that's most likely because I think one of their, the msgsmdr.com, I think part of that is blacklisted. So there's a little, little bit issue there. And that's why whenever you have a link in an email, is going to have, the link that you put is going to be embedded within this msgsmdr link. And that's why you're getting a little bit lower deliverability because the email servers see that. They've come up with a fix for that. And also it just helps even white label your software even more. So what you're doing here, you're going to wanna, in the API domain, you wanna put in, well first you wanna put in your domain, but then you also wanna put in a C name. So that could be really anything you want, but the key here is the C name. So for example, just do link, because you're most likely, this is gonna be for the links going out in the emails or wherever you're sending links out. So the way you do that, really simple, if you hover the mouse over the question mark here, you're going to create a C name record in your DNS settings. And it needs to be pointing to link.msgsndr.com. So you'll put in whatever you want in here, most likely your domain or the C name, link.yourdomain.com. Okay, now you're gonna to go to your DNS settings, depending on where it is, could be Namecheap, could be GoDaddy. Uh, I use Cloudflare, I'd recommend Cloudflare. So we're first gonna talk about, we'll go into Namecheap here. So you're gonna go into your, your domain. Now this is a different domain because my main domain is being ported to through Cloudflare. So I'm using a different domain for this demo here. Okay, so you're gonna come to your domain and you go to advanced DNS here. And then from here, you are going to just add a new record. And the record is going to be a C name. What you're gonna do for the host, you're gonna do link dot whatever your domain is. And then the target is going to be that link.msgsndr.com. So we go back and take a look, quick look at that. It's right here pointing to link.msgsndr.com. Now when you do that, you will then just hit save, or you'll click the little check mark here, and then you'll save it. Okay, so now you have that in there. If you're using Cloudflare, I'm gonna walk you through here. Very simple, very similar. Uh, so you're gonna go into your domain. After you log in, you go to DNS. And then from here, you're going to add a new record. And the record here, again, is gonna be CNAME. Now you don't, so you know, you don't have to do this on Namecheap and Cloudflare if you're using it. This is only if you're using Cloudflare. I'm just showing you two examples. One was Namecheap, one was Cloudflare but wherever your DNS settings are hosted, that is where you are going to be putting your CNAME in. So from here, we'll do a link. And then in this case, in Cloudflare, you don't have to put in the dot your domain because it automatically puts it here, as you can see. So you just put in whatever the CNAME is that you want it to be. And then here, the target, you're gonna put link.msgsndr.com. Now the key thing is you wanna turn the proxy to off. So you're gonna click this once, DNS only. And then you're gonna click on save. Now I'm not gonna click on save because I've already done this for my domain. If we just scroll down here, you can see right here, link.msgsndr, DNS only. I click save. It may take a little bit to populate, but now, now when we go back here, so once you put this into here, you have the first thing is put in your DNS. Next is to put your domain here. Then you'll come down to the bottom, you'll click update company, and then you should be good to go. From, that, from now on, whenever you send out links in your emails, it's gonna help improve your deliver, deliverability, as long as your domain isn't blacklisted or anything wrong with your domain. 
So anyways, that's it for this video. Short, to the point, uh, but that should definitely help you improve your deliverability. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.